Hi everyone. Hello Verbling. I hope you're all having a great day today. My name is Lauren and this is a class on English grammar. I have it as intermediate or advanced grammar because sometimes the past perfect can be difficult. So today we're talking about the past simple and the past perfect. I would just like to say Say, I see that Afshen, Afshen, you are writing in the chat right now. Um, I so I'll just help you about how to get into the class, Afshen. When you see the green button, right, right over here, it will turn green, and it will say Join Class. Then you click that button, and you will be you will be brought here into the class with us. Okay, so um, I hope that answers your question, Afshan. Um, and to get tickets, right over here on your screen, you can click on that, and that will explain how you can get tickets. Um, maybe we can get one of our, our uh, classmates to explain how to get tickets. Uh, maybe we can get, hmm... Uh, Nicholas, how are you today? <clears throat> how about it? Hi, Hi. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Yes, I, I has has been a, a while. Uh, I, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Good. Um, I was I was practicing some English with my books, but not in Berlin. So it's been it's two weeks, probably. hasn't it? Yes, maybe. I know. I know everything. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but, Nicholas, maybe you can explain. We have a student in the chat, Afshan. Uh, he's yes. asking how to get tickets. So I thought maybe, uh, do you want to explain how to get tickets? Uh, yes, okay. You can. Uh, you can buy the tickets. I mean, you can join or a premium a premium account, mm -hmm. or you can I think you can share the the verbing page in your Facebook, and then if your if your friends uh, join to to Berlin, you can get tickets. It's okay. Totally. Thank you so much, Nicholas. So, uh, as as Nicholas said, Afshan, um, uh, Afshan, it is free to get tickets if you invite your friends on Facebook. But classes are only two dollars, so it's not very expensive. So two dollars for one class, or you can become a premium member. And this means unlimited tickets, unlimited, as many classes as you want for $25 US. Okay? Okay. Um, so uh, we have Chad. Chad is talking to us in the chat. Everyone say hello to Chad. Hi, Chad. Hi, Hi Chad. Chad. Hi, Chad. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Um, great. Okay, so let's say hello to everyone. We have our mysterious Alpha pilot here. Alpha, can we hear you today? Oh, you know, Alpha, when we hear your voice, it will be like Christmas. It will be like Christmas morning. <laughs> That's okay. And welcome to, back to iChu. Hello, iChu. Hi. How are you? Good. Still doing well. Yeah. Good. And uh, I too, maybe you can help explain to the class uh, and also to Jose. You can both explain what the simple pre uh, what the simple past is because you were in the last class. Okay. Yes. Um, great. 
Hey, oh, and welcome to Jose. Hello, Jose. Hello. Welcome Good back. Morning. Welcome. Thank you. It's, it's morning for you? Uh, it's night. It's 3. It's 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Yes. Oh, my goodness. You are such a dedicated verbling student. I have to go to a sleep. <laughs> Pardon me? Uh, before I have to go to sleep. I know. Well, it's okay because now you will go to bed with your mind full of grammar. Yes. <laughs> uh, great. And welcome to Elvira. Hello, Elvira. Hi. Hi. Welcome. I haven't met you before. No, I'm new. Are you new to Verbling today? Yes, I am new. Oh, yay. Everyone say welcome to Elvira. Yay! <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Elvira, if you have any questions, please just type it in the chat right over here. Type it, and I will help you, or maybe your, your fellow students will help you. Okay. Okay. Great. And I see that Duang Zhang, you are writing in the chat. And don't worry, thank you for coming to last class. Uh, great, and welcome as well to Evelina. Hello, Evelina. Well. Evelina, can you hear me? Evelina. Hmm. Evelina, oh, she's gone. And welcome to Javier. Hello, Javier. Uh, hi, how are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. I have been in other class before, so this is my second class. I'm really happy to be here again. Uh, oh, yay! This is your second class on Verbly? Yeah, yeah it's my second class on Verbly. Oh, great! And who was your teacher last time? Uh, my last teacher was uh, Hashi. He ha teacher, he, uh, he teacher regard the... Uh, have to be successful in an interview. Good, that's oh, good. Yeah. Good. Hamish. Hamish, yeah. Yes, yeah, Hamish. he's great. He's yeah, great. Good. Awesome. Great. You. And uh, well, welcome, welcome to Javier. And Javier, for you as well, if you have any questions, don't be shy. Just type it or ask me, and okay. one of us will help you. Either okay, me great. or your students, your fellow students will help you. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, great. And welcome to uh, Ruddy. Hello, Ruddy. Hi, hi. Can you hear me? I can. How are you doing today? Uh, it's fine. Today was fun. I mean, I, uh, here it's uh, night. It's night for you. What time? Uh, 9 p.m. It is 9 p.m. Yeah. 9 p.m. Oh, so where are you? Are you in Ontario? No, no, I am. I am from Bolivia. Mmm. What is it? May 14. No. What's the date for you? It's a Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Oh yes. Okay. Me too. Me too. That's strange. We have the same time, Bolivia. Okay. I'm thinking. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Great. Uh, one question, Ruddy. Can you put headphones on? Do you have headphones? Yeah. That would be great because when you're not wearing headphones, my voice goes back into your microphone. So whatever you hear, it goes back into your microphone, and we hear a little bit of an echo. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you, Ruddy. Um, okay, great. <laughs> Larissa, I see you're writing in the chat. Come into class. Come in. <laughs> okay, great. So, Afshan, if you have any more questions, please type it to us and we will try to help you. But I think Alpha is helping you. He said to check your private messages. So, Alpha might have already helped you. So, make sure you check your messages, okay? Okay. 
as you all know, this is a class on um, the past simple and the past perfect. Most of you already know the past simple, so we're not going to talk about that a lot. We're going to talk about the past perfect, which is a weird tense, but it's very easy once you understand it. Okay. Does anyone have any trouble seeing the link? Does everyone have the link on their no. screen? Yeah. No. Okay, I'll type it again in the chat right there. Do you see the chat there, Javier? Yeah, I see. You see the yeah, verb I, I, chat? Yeah, I already have the here all the information regarding the past perfect and past simple. Good, good, great. Okay, and if anyone has uh, any troubles, just let me know. I'm going to screen share this for you. So, unfortunately, this class is going to be me talking a lot for the first maybe 15 minutes, <laughs> but then, then it will all be you. You're going to get as much practice as possible to uh, either think of examples or as a class, we will decide maybe we want to do the quizzes. We can, we can look at some quizzes. Give me okay, one right. second. There we go. Ruddy, I hope you don't mind. I'm probably going to mute you a little bit uh, every now and then just because I can hear some uh, echoing. Is that okay, Ruddy? Yeah. Okay. It's okay now. Oh, now it's okay, actually. Good. Okay, so if I ever mute you, it's just because I'm hearing an echo, but everything's fine right now. Okay. Afshan is asking, can I say Atlantic? That's Atlantic. Atlantic. <laughs> okay. So we've got the past perfect and the past simple. First, we're going to quickly review the past simple. I'm going to get Jose and Aichu. I want you both to explain this, uh, this tense, okay? Yes. Then we're going to learn the past perfect. So I will explain that part, okay? Yeah. Then it is speaking time. So you will think of your own examples using both the simple and perfect past tenses. We will type them out and add them to this exact document. This exact document. We're going to add them to this. And then next time you click on the link, you will see all of those examples. So you can access them anytime. If after this class you think, I have no idea what she was talking about, <laughs> then you can go back and look at the examples and, and slow it down and spend as much time as you need to looking at the examples. Um, okay. So let's start with um, I choose. So I choose. You can explain the past simple in your own words, or you can read whatever you want. I will try with my own words. Sure. We use the past tense to talk about the action that start and end in the past. Great. Great. Jose, do you want to add anything to that? Sorry. So what is your own definition? What is your definition of the past per uh, sorry, of the past simple that we talked about last class? Since uh, uh, happened before in the time. It happened before in the past. Yes. Yes, and as I too said, it's not just that it happened in the past. The past simple means it happened and it finished. It yes, happened and it finished and it's yeah, done. Yes, yes, yes. And, they finish, yes. Mm -hmm. and we normally say it happened once or it happened maybe uh, never. Happened once or never. Uh, but I'll go back to this. Do, so I chew and Jose, do you have anything more to add to that definition? Yes. Yes? And when you are talking about the past, you use when. Good. Good. And when, when do you use while? 
when you use the past continuous or progressive. Great, great. So for everyone watching, this is from last class. That's why Jose and Aichi remember. From yes. last class, we learned when you use the past simple, you can say when. For example, when I went to school. When I went to school. When and went. These are two things that go together because when works with this tense, the past simple tense. But if you're saying while I was walking to school, this is the past progressive and you use while. But that is from last class. So if you have any questions, type it in the chat if you're interested. Um, and I just want to say hello to a new student in class. We have Ruiso Luiani. Ruiso? Or maybe Ruiso? Can you hear me? Ruiso, I can't hear you, but if you might be on mute. So if you're on mute, Click up here on the top right corner of your screen. There will be a little red button. A little red button. Okay. If you have a trouble, a, any trouble, Ruiso, please type type it in the chat. Okay. So moving on, I'll just I'll just quickly explain this again. So the past simple. It is used to show an action that happened in the past either once, never, several times, or suddenly during a continuous action. So, he, so here I, I ran, went over last class. As she was doing her homework, her mother came home. So this is a continuous action and we use the past simple to show that an action happened in the middle of it. Okay? So here, came is the simple past, verb occurring in the middle of the continuous verb, which is doing. How do you form the, the past simple? Very easy. It is formed by just converting the verb into the simple past tense, which is often by adding ed, but many words have a unique past tense form. So for example, spoke, wrote, ate, thought. So that's how you make the past simple. You just turn the verb into the past tense. So here are examples. I woke up at 8 a.m. this morning. This happened once in the past. Done. It is done. Right? He was late to class. You could say, I said up here, it is an action that happened either once, never, several times, or during a continuous action. So over here, if I wanted to say he was late to class every day, every, that is correct as well. It isn't that it happened once in the past, but it happened several times in the past. But the point is, it happened and then the action was done. He was late to class again, and the action was done. So you still use the simple past for this. He was always late for class. He was late every day. Another example of simple past. I ate lunch with my professor yesterday. I ate lunch with my professor yesterday. Simple past. It happened, now it's done. The boy felt horrible when his girlfriend broke up with him. The boy felt horrible when his girlfriend broke up with him. Okay? These are things that happened in the past and now they're done. If the boy was still feeling horrible, you would say, it, the boy is feeling horrible because his girlfriend broke up with him. But then, of course, that is not... Only this one is past simple, the broke. So again, going over that, the boy is feeling horrible because his girlfriend broke up with him. This is one thing, so happened in the past, 
you broke up. It's done. She said, I don't want to be with you anymore. Now it's done. It's over. That's what you do the simple past for. Now, uh, the, the past perfect is, uh, have you encountered the past perfect before? Have you seen this tense before, past perfect? Yes. Yes? yes. OK. Yes. Um, and I just want to check, is Ruiso there now? Ruiso, Hello. I can hear you. There you are. Hello, how are you today? Oh, fine. Thank Good. you. Good. Are you new to Verbling? Uh, yes. Great. Well, welcome. We are using a document right now. Yes. And I posted it in the chat again for you. So you can look at that or you can watch my screen as I screen share. Okay? Okay. Okay. So the past perfect. This expresses an action taking place before a certain time but in the past. Okay? It is formed by adding had before the past tense verb. Like had plus past tense verb. That is how you make this, this tense. That is the equation as I call it. So the past perfect equals had plus past tense verb. Signal words include if you see already or just, never, once, until that day. These are things that, in, that show that it is past perfect. And it is often used, so I'm, I'm just going to give some examples before I go on. So if you think of the, uh, hmm, maybe I should draw this. Okay, uh, I'm going to draw you a picture. Okay. Ready? <laughs> okay. This is a timeline. Okay. This is the present. So I'm going to write this down. <laughs> Oh, she's the drawer. <laughs> I'm just going to use another color. Okay. <laughs> I made some mistakes, but here. Pretend this is not here. <laughs> okay. This is time. Okay? If this is the past, and this is right now, this is right now, this is the present. Okay. And this is the future. If we are talking about the past perfect, we are talking about something that happened before something that happened in the past. Okay? So here, this is the past perfect. The past perfect is something that happens before an event in the past. Okay? So think of it like this. I will, I will explain it to you using examples. Remember that diagram? And if you want to see it again, I will show it again. So if you're looking at this, if I had seen him, I would have talked to him. Talked. This is a past tense verb. So this person is saying, so if I am saying, hey, Elvira, why didn't you talk to my brother? You saw, he said you saw him yesterday and you did not talk to him. And Elvira said to me, 
if I had seen him, I would have talked to him. So past, they're both past tense. If I had seen him. It's a condition. So if before, if I had seen him, I would have talked to him. This is the past. And the past perfect is something that happened before that point. Okay. Let's use more examples. And if you have, if you don't understand that diagram, I will re-explain it. Here's another. She had owned the car for 10 years before it broke down. So what we're talking about right now is in the past, simple past, it broke down. The car broke down, right? This is a simple past. The, the car broke down. But we're talking about something that here we're saying she had owned the car for 10 years before it broke down. So think about this example. I'm actually going to copy. I'm copying and pasting it. And chat. Oops, I'm putting it in the chat right now. So look at that example that I put in the chat and think about this, okay? This is the future. We don't care about the future or the present, okay? The thing that happened in that the car broke down. Sorry that my face is turning funny colors. I don't know why. This happens sometimes with my camera. So the car broke down. Before the car broke down, she had already, before this past event happened, before this past event, she had already owned the car for 10 years. So we put, and then past tense. And this means, imagine that the had means it's coming before the past. Are there any questions about that? Can what? can you be be honest? Is anyone like I don't understand? I don't understand. Okay, thank you for being honest. Thank you for because I just joined. I, it. Welcome, Lorenzo. <laughs> Hello, I just am like who said that, Lorenzo? Welcome. No <laughs> technical good. problems right now. Yeah. Um, I too said you did a great job at leading the class when I left. I'm sorry. <laughs> I too said you did a great job leading the class when I left today. So thank you. All right. Great. Um, okay, I'm going to show another example. Okay, we're talking about the past perfect, and again, it expresses it, sorry it expresses an action that took place before a certain time in the past. So it's like something that happens before the past tense. Here's another example, and Javier, I'm just going to mute you for a second because I hear some background noise. So check out this example here that I highlighted on my screen. If I had never seen, oh sorry, excuse me, not if. I had never seen such a beautiful beach before I went to Hawaii. So if you look, at, so I'm going to copy that again and put it in the chat, and I want you to watch that, not watch that. I want you to look at that while I explain the past perfect again. All right. So I put it in the chat, okay? This is my diagram. It's not very pretty, so I'm sorry. Again, this is the present. This is the future. We don't care about that. We're only talking about the past and the past perfect. If this is everything that happened in the past, in the sentence we're talking about, this is something happening before the past. So what you're so looking past, at... So the past perfect is something like exactly specified in the past. It, it's, it's not even that it needs to be specific. It, what you need to know, Lorenzo, is that the past perfect happens before something happened in the past. See? This is the past, but this is the past perfect. I'm going to drop... Excuse me, the past perfect doesn't need a specific time, in a specific period. It doesn't need to be a specific 
period. It doesn't need to be specific. Okay. But what, what you, this is a good way of thinking about it. So, like I said again, if this is right now, and this is the future, we don't care about this today because we're talking about the past, okay? But let's say this is the past, and the past is only here, okay? The past perfect happens before the past. And, and think of this example. I typed it in the chat right here. I had never been to a beautiful beach before I went to Hawaii. So uh, can I ask, um, Elvira, in that sentence, what is the simple past verb? What is the simple past verb in that sentence I posted in the chat? I went. I went. I went to Hawaii. Yeah. Now, what happened before I went to Hawaii? Have, uh, have I never seen a beautiful beach? Yeah. So if this is my past, my past verb, I went to Hawaii, but before I went to Hawaii, I had never seen such a beautiful beach. This word had shows that it comes before the past, before the past verb. Does that make more sense? Yes. Yeah, okay. now it does. I'm going to make all of you come up with your own examples. Yay! <laughs> so. <laughs> I promise that you will all understand by the end of class. So if you're thinking, I don't know what she's talking about, don't worry. You, you will have the chance to make your own examples. Um, I'm going to show another example here. Her English was so good, was so good, right? So I met, let's, let's do this. Uh, let's ask. Hmm. Let's say Ruddy. Actually, and, and you know what? I'm going to say I met a man last year from Ruddy. Where are you from? Ruddy, where, what country are you from? Oh, Aww. He doesn't like he doesn't like me. <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm too shy. I'm not going to say that. Go. Ruddy, was it something I said? <laughs> Look, he made Alpha sad. <laughs> Ruddy, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear Wait. you. So, Ruddy, what, where are you from? I'm from Bolivia. Bolivia. Yes sentence I have on my screen here. I met a man last year from Bolivia. His English was so good because he had spent so much time on Verbling. Woo! Go Verbling! So, uh, let me ask you, Ruddy, what is the past, what is the simple past verb? In the first part of the sentence, I met a man last year with and what only look at the second sentence. What is the simple verb in that, sorry, simple past verb in that sentence? If you look mm -hmm. at the second one. Met. So if you only look at the second sentence here, for his English was so good because he had spent. I and the second sentence, uh, was, it's the verb. Perfect. Right? So we have this simple thing, this simple verb. His English was so good. So that's our simple past, right? I'm, I'm going to copy and paste this, this and put it in the chat now. So I'm going to show this to you again, okay? I wish this was more beautiful, but it's not very nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Oh, ready. Poor ready. But I'm going to explain this anyways. So... His English was so good. Was. This is the simple past. Yeah. Because before this, before his English could be good, right? Bec before his English was so good, this happened because 
he had spent so much time on verbling. That uh, is when you use the had. When you're talking about something that happened before something that happened in the past. Is anyone lost? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> a little? Lorenzo, that's okay. That's okay. Like, we'll get you to make examples. All right. it's, it's, when you, it's when you are talking about the past. It's when you already are talking about the past. So you add something uh, to this relate. In, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if he could understand. So what, what Nicholas is saying is you're yeah, you're let me think of an example. Before before my parents before my parents got married, so this is the, the simple past, before my parents got married, now I'm gonna talk about something that happened before the event in the past. Okay, Lorenzo? So yeah. before my parents got married, my mother lost my mother had lost weight. Uh, right? Because I got it. Because it's happening before an event. My parents got married 20 years ago, or 20, right. 23 years ago. So that that's how it works there. Okay. I so got it's it. like it, yeah. Okay. For hours, when you're trying to use the the the, the past, you have to have a complement. For example, if you have to say like before your parents get married, you can only say it, you can only say like. Uh, um, my mother was a losing an eight. Like my mother lose weight. You you have to have the compliment, right? It, it, normally, unless it's in conversation. So good question, Lorenzo. Let's say you say, Lauren, I'm very upset because I asked you to go to lunch with me last week, and you said no. I could say, I could say. Lorenzo, I had already had lunch. I had already eaten lunch. Oh. And I don't need to couple it with I don't need to complement it because it's implied because we are we are having a conversation. But yes, Lorenzo, uh, it normally so there is has a session. So there's a me? session. So there is a session like this. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, but Lorenzo is correct. If you're using the past perfect, it is almost always complemented with a verb that is in the simple past. For example, before my parents got married, simple past, my mother lost my mother had lost a lot of weight. That's an example. Okay? Um, I didn't, I did not, I, I did, so this is simple past, I did not go to lunch with Lorenzo last week because I had already eaten lunch. Okay? This is an event that happened before the event in the past. Now, yeah. you're thinking probably, why is it called the past perfect? Why perfect? Think of perfect as being like the most, the, the be all and end all, which is an expression to mean the most complete, okay? This is perfect because it is the most, and not perfect to mean no, not flawed, because it, it's a strange uh, name for the tense. It means it is the most past. So if this is the simple past, the past perfect is even more of a perfect past because it is so far, it is the most past you can get. Okay? Okay. Uh, and yes, Nicholas, exactly, what you, what you typed in the chat. Uh, we, uh, so uh, Jose is saying, we eat food, we eat, we eat, we eat, we ate all the food because we had been three days without food. 
That's good, Jose. I'm just going to change your first verb into a past tense. So Jose has a good idea. He says, we ate all the food because we had been three days without food. So before we ate all the food, before this past thing that happened yesterday, yesterday we ate all the food. This is still in the past, but now further in the past, we had been without food. We had been starving for three days. Okay, uh, any questions before I ask you to make your own examples? Any questions? Okay, great. I want you all to think of sentences right now, and we're going to start with, hmm, does anyone want to go first? Uh, Lucky number I just one? I can. You'll go first, Lorenzo? Great. Great, Lorenzo. Sure. And if, uh, if Lorenzo, if no one wants to go after Lorenzo, I'll just start with I chew and move my way over. Okay. So, Lorenzo, I'm going to type this in here. So, when you, if you forget anything later, you can come back to this. All right. Go ahead. Oh, what? Go ahead. Do you have an example? Um, um, uh, oh my god. <laughs> That's okay. Wait. Um, it, I just had a like this, like this one, right? This one you gave me. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Like, for example, uh, say your example again so I can remember. Sure, so here's, yes. here's a whole bunch of examples here. So here, here's one. He had just bought his shirt when his friend spilled, right? When his friend spilled coffee on it. Okay, I, I know. They had just came back from uh, Rome when the airplane got here. When the airplane got, uh, they got, no. That's that's wrong. Whoops. They just they had just came back from Rome when their parents called them. Perfect, perfect. So everyone, check this out, and I'm just gonna give instructions here. Both of them, right? And let's say I'm going to, I'm going to underline the simple past, and I'm going to bold the pa uh, the perfect past. So your simple past here is their parents called. Oops, sorry. Their parents called them. This is your simple past, and now your perfect past is they had just come back, right? They had just come back. Yeah. Sorry. They had just came back. You were correct there. They had just came back from Rome when their parents called them. Thank you, Enzo. That's, that's perfect. That's perfect. Um, Alpha, you, why don't you write your example in the chat? We still want you, we still want your sentence in our notes. Um, great, thank you so much, Lorenzo. Does anyone else want to go uh, next? Me, Javier. Great, Javier. Okay, uh, this is my question, my sentence, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. I had never been in a fantastic uh, place like Aspen before I visited the United States. Perfect, perfect. And do you want to tell me which, what, where is your simple past? Uh, simple past is visit. Yep, I visited. visited. Yep, visited. How you pronounce visited or just visit? Visited. Ah, uh, visited. Okay. Visited. Uh, and the perfect past is had never been. Good. Good. Great. 
Great. Thank you so much, Javier. That's perfect. Thank you. Who wants to go next? I'll go. Great, I too. Uh, when I was born, my parents had already two kids. Can you say that one more time? When I was born, my parents had already two kids. My parents had already two, two kids. kids. Oh, all, so we would say already had two. Already had two kids. Perfect. So already had. Oh, sorry. And which one is your uh, simple past? Uh, was born. Perfect. And where is your um, your perfect past? Had. Good. Now, uh, I here. I just like to clarify. Don't be confused here that we don't have had and a verb. Do you know what's wrong with this with this sentence here? And why I'm I'm gonna blow your minds in a minute. Okay, ready? Here. This is correct. You're yeah. gonna think, oh my gosh, no way, but it really is. This is why. When I was born, my parents already had had two kids. My parents had already had two kids, also correct. But I want you to know, if you ever see had, had, this is totally grammatically correct. Okay. Okay? And this is why. One of these hads, one of these hads, so this first had is for the per the making the perfect past. So that first one is just this one here. It's just part of the equation, so don't worry about that had. And then the second had is your actual verb. So while this one is the verb to be, for Javier's example, this one is the verb to have. So the first had is part of the equation of the tense, and the next one is your actual verb to have. So I want everyone okay. to know that if you ever see I had had, it's totally correct. It just looks very strange. <laughs> okay. I, too, I too had, a, had an ambitious verb. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you, I too. Um, and Larissa's typing in the chat. So I went to college. Um, oh, I'm just looking. So I went to college when I had realized that I forgot one book at home. So you, that would be more correct to say, Larissa. I'll put it here. I arrived to class or I arrived to my university when I realized I had forgotten one book at home. So we've got this had and our past tense verb and that is our um, perfect tense and then we have I arrived and this is our simple tense. Okay. Great. Um, and Alpha, we're still waiting on your uh, example. Uh, okay, who wants to go next? I got an example. Yes, please, ready. Okay, I'm ready. I had just found my dog before my parents started looking for him. Good. Once again? Oh, one second, I'm just making sure. <laughs> Good, good. So your parents obviously did not know you found it. <laughs> yeah, so I, so what is your perfect verb? My past perfect. perfect is not found. Good. And what is your simple past? Uh, um, and my but. Sorry, Ruddy, you just sounded like a robot. <laughs> we don't know what you said. Can you repeat that one more time? 
my simple past verb is start. Perfect. Sometimes, ready, our microphones, they, they make our voice sound like this. <laughs> so that's what happened. It's not your fault, but... Great. Yes, please. Uh, Ruiso. Yes. I had got ticket before I entered a classroom of Miss Lauren. Can you repeat that one more time? I had got ticket before I entered a classroom of Miss Lauren. Oh, for some reason, Ruiso, I, I didn't hear that very clearly. Did you say I had bought a ticket? I had got got a ticket. Yes, before right. I owned a classroom. Oh, a, a verbling class. Like that? Yes. Is that what you said? Yes. Great. Thank you, Ruiso. That's perfect. Right, so you see how you're, you're talking about something, and I'm just going to go back to our little map, okay? I'm going back to our little map. So Ruiso says, I had bought a ticket, I had bought a ticket before I entered class with Lauren. You could say one year ago, one year ago, I had bought a ticket before I entered the class. So again, here's your past, and your past perfect happens before that. Yes. Good. That's perfect. Perfect sentence, Ruiso. Um, great. Who wants to go next? Oh, first, uh, excuse Ruiso. Me. Excuse yeah. me, teacher. I have a question. Uh, yeah. Probably that Ruiso told um, the sentence. I have gotten a ticket before. Could be probably. I have gotten a ticket before I entered a Berlin class with Miss Lauren. No, not gotten, because the got is uh, on my past sentence. I, I'm going to be honest with you, Javier. I know that that's incorrect because we're using simple past, and simple past is got. But, Javier, I don't actually know when the correct time is to use gotten. I don't uh -huh. use that word. Isn't that funny? Okay. So, but I know for this for this tense we use got. Okay. But got stay it. tuned, Javier. I'm writing this down that I'm gonna post on my Facebook wall because I should know this. So got and gotten. I'm gonna put a um a, a note on my Facebook wall tonight about when to use which one. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Great. And I'm just before I'm gonna get to everyone else. I know that class uh, technically ends, but I'm going to make sure I get to everyone before I end class. But uh, if you need to go early because you want to get to another class, I put my Facebook and Verbling information in the chat if you want to uh, follow me and get updates on my classes, okay? Um, but okay, so uh, who was, oh yes, Ruiso, can you point out which one is your simple past verb? Yes. Uh, simple past is entered. Perfect. And the uh, past perfect is uh, good. Great. Okay, who wants to go next? I go. Great. Yes, please, Nicholas. Um, I took a bath because I had been playing football. I hope you did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great, that's perfect. You guys are really getting this. And what is your uh, pa your simple past? Uh, took. Took. Perfect. And what is your uh, your past perfect? Uh, have been. Have been. Yeah. Have been playing. It, it would. It would be. It would be. Had been playing because. You're using a past perfect continuous, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just going to put that in brackets here. Um,
So that, that's fine, Nicholas, because it's totally correct for this sentence. It's just a continuous verb, which is totally okay. okay. You're going ahead of us, in fact. <laughs> uh, great. And what about Elvira? Elvira, don't be shy. Okay. I have my, my example. Mm -hmm. I have just a minute. When I got a job, when oh, I got a job. oh, Almira, uh, uh, sorry, Alvira, can you please speak closer to your microphone? Okay. I have just graduated when I got a job in a dentistry office. Great. Perfect. And which one is your past continuous? I mean, sorry, your past perfect. My past perfect is I had just graduated. Good. And which one is your past simple? My past simple is I got a job in a dangerous office. Yeah, so your simple verb is just got. Right? That's your simple. Yes. Good, great. And Juan, have we got to you? I don't think so. Okay, let's write it here. Or sorry, not Juan. I meant Jose. Jose, what about you? Yes, I. Uh, sorry, one moment. Uh, I passed the sum because I have studied before very hard. Sorry, Jose. Can you say that one more time? I passed the sum because I have studied studied before very hard. Did you say I passed the sun? The exam, the test, the exam. No, exam. Oh, the exam. 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 I passed exam. the exam because... Because I have studied before very hard. So this is how you would say that one. I had, not have, but I had studied very hard before it. Okay? So the it is the exam. Okay. So I passed. Um, which one is the simple verb? Simple verb is pass. Passed. Good. And what is the, uh, this, the past perfect? Half studied. Had studied. Had. So remember, that has to be had, not have, but okay, had. Half. Okay, have. Good. Great. I don't think I'm missing anyone, am I? Good. Now, I want to say, at the beginning, everyone's faces were like, and everyone got perfect sentences. So I, I hope that shows you that you're English grammar experts. <laughs> Okay? Thank um, you. You're so Thanks. welcome. Thank you for a great class. Now, I have saved all those examples. So, I've saved all those examples. Next time you click on the link, all of the examples, everything I just typed, will be on your link. Okay? So, you can look at that link today, tomorrow, and a year from now. It will always be there. Okay? Okay. Um, and again, if you're not already following me on Verbly, and if you haven't liked my Facebook page, I put my information right here in the chat. Okay? Thank you so much for a great class. I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.